I was going to kick their ass if they didn't win the game. No, <laughs> you can edit that. No, I, uh, basically, we, we went into the halftime, and we knew um, we wrote some stats up on the board. Uh, it was our best halftime that we've had all year. We were even in northern Colorado. We were down five at Albuquerque, and we are up four at home. So, you know, we, we, we just had to kind of step back and keep things in perspective at the halftime. And we knew um, we wrote some stats up on the board. Uh, it was our best halftime that we've had all year. We were even in northern Colorado. We were down five at Albuquerque, and we are up four at home. So, you know, we, we, we just had to kind of step back and keep things in perspective, you know. I think, you know, our guys are, are not front runners. They're, but they're competitors. And so they, you know, they got it. They got it. When they don't have everything going their way, sometimes they can, you know, get a little distracted on a possession or two. But that's, that's part of the process. Hey, listen, we're winning games. We're 3-0. and and we've got loads of improvement in front of us. I am I am so excited uh, about the potential of this team. And, and they say it's a scary word, but not with this crew. Uh, we're going to realize some dreams. We're going to shock some people, and we're going to have a we're going to have a, a season to, to be remembered. First, can you talk about two and zero now against uh, the rivals after obviously last year? Does that inform you, or do you get more about the three and zero start? Two and zero against the rival. That's always a good thing. We haven't been able to do that the past year, so I think it's a great accomplishment for us. And, uh, we just want to keep going in the, the right direction. Wendell, it doesn't seem like too many teams are going to be able to beat you guys on the boards this year. You guys are big, long, and tall. Talk about it. Um, yeah. you know, that's just what we preach. You know, that's just what we're all about. You know, we go, we go at each other in practice to to make each other tougher. So. You know, once we come together as a unit against anybody else, it's, it's just going to be tough for anybody. I thought they did a good job of getting back and maybe slowing the game down at first, but did you feel like they could score with you guys for an entire game? Uh, to be honest, no. no. That was my fault. I, I think when they got back, I think I did some, some things uh, strategically incorrect in, in, in the beginning of the game, and I, I kind of took our guys out of our game because I – I was calling too much stuff, and I was overcoaching. And when I just let them go, when we ran our speed game concepts and got into our, our our staggers and our quick hitting, you know, NBA sets right off the push, then we were fine. But I I was asking the guys to do uh, some stuff that was maybe bogging them down a little bit. And then when we we made that adjustment in the in the, in the timeout, and then they then they picked it up. Coach, you said that uh, you'd be shooting by committee on the threes, and you did. You got four players shooting, and you actually got twenty seven points on the threes. Is that something we're going to sort of see the pattern for this year? I would certainly hope so. <laughs> 45% from the from the three. And, and uh, again, you know, Wynn win hit one. CK hit, hit a couple early, which just got the crowd into it, and it was a great way to start the game. Bonja was three for five. I mean, it was good. It was, it, was, it was what we want. We want guys to share the ball. It's all about taking the highest percentage shot available on each possession, not getting individuals, you know, looks unless we have mismatches that we're really specifically trying to get. Otherwise, we want to get the highest percentage shot on each position. Well, no, can you talk about just the atmosphere tonight and the, the home opener and everything like that? What you, what you hope for? You know, definitely. You know, the, the city of Las Cruces was here. You know, a couple of people from, people from El Paso was here. You know, we just, you know, we just bring some excitement to the rivalry, you know, and it's a good thing that we're winning now. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice court. We're, we're undefeated in it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for players? One or two early technicals in the game. Were, was there more talking than usual, or was it just a regular? Nah, game? that's it's a rivalry game. You gotta you gotta expect that. If it wasn't a technical, then it's, where's where's your heart at? You know. Did any of the minor players say anything to you about the tweets? Uh, nah, no. Uh, before the game, I I told him I said it, and I'll say it again. <laughs> Great, great tournament for us right now. If we can go down <clears throat> to Alaska and have success out there, I really think we'll be on on track for for uh, maybe even some votes. You know, some top twenty five votes, which hasn't happened in quite some time. You know, it seems like. You're wrong, Teddy. You're wrong. <laughs>
it seems like a more unified team, playing defense hard the entire night. And I thought the passing was great tonight. Do you think I'm on target? No, I, I, you're 100 percent correct. Our guys really shared the ball. What did we end up with? 15, 16 assists. 16 assists is pretty good, and and that's a that's a result of guys making the extra pass, trying to find people. And and what happens sometimes when you do that, you get some turnovers. With our speed of play right now, and the, the way we're trying to play and put people in defensive positions that's not healthy for them, you're going to turn it over from time to time. And then defensively, it seemed like defensively you got up on them in the second half. Now, they may have switched some things, too, because they were behind. They had that four-quarter ball. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got up in them, and it created opportunities on the offensive end. Of it, not- right, it did. What, what we ended up doing was we initially we were really climbing into them, and then we actually uh, kind of gave them a little space and said, okay, if you guys are going to run clock, go ahead and run and, and then we're going to do a great job in the last 10 to 15 seconds of it. And that's where we got the turnovers. Actually, later in the possession, instead of you know, really just climbing into them all the way. It was, it was, the, late, it was the last part of the possessions where we were getting the uh, deflections. Do you think they had enough offense to score? Well, tonight they didn't, but they have, uh, they have the weapons, and I thought that we challenged a lot of shots. You'll see the shots they missed. We had guys flying at them for the most part. I mean, I, I thought we did a pretty good job. Of never giving up on the challenge, and I think that helped us. I thought getting the free throw line helped you guys hang around there before your offense got going. Yeah, I don't know what we shot from the line tonight. Seventy-one percent, great. That's what we need to be above seventy, and that's that's the result of, of being aggressive on the on the you know inside touches, penetrating with your you know your rebounding. I mean, those are all things that we're doing well right now. I think. So. Oh, like, we started taking some bonehead. You know, we, um, it's a rivalry. You know, we're trying, we're throwing behind the back passes, and you know, they're trying to blow them out and do things that that aren't, you know, necessarily the way you need to finish a game. So we'll learn from it. It's a great thing. Uh, the Miners were leading in the paint all through the game. You guys kind of caught up at the end, but for a while there, they were actually scoring. scoring You're talking about scoring in the paint, yeah, right? The paint. Does that continue at all? Or does that show that uh, no, I, I, not at all. I think that uh, the way that we play defense, sometimes we're going to overextend. And, and they did a good job driving the ball. And that's and so those those points in the paint weren't like they were just, you know, going to the wing, running a set play, and throwing it inside, beating us inside. It was off of penetration. And when you extend out on guys as much as we do and and, and, and pressure the perimeter, you know, you, you got to get rotations. And and, and uh, we didn't get we didn't do that that secondary part of the, the defensive action that well tonight. I thought it was a great effort by our guys. I thought we played really hard. What kind of chilly this the last I mean the last couple of games you got the technical and stuff. Is he just really passionate? He's a fiery, player. passionate guy that follows sometimes I maybe I think I have to tone down my pregame speeches. Because okay. he loves me so much. If I get too fired up, he goes out and just Yeah boys it just it's like no Chili. <laughs> Go ahead bro. You Just you know, we, he he knows he has a young team and he and he's going to war. He likes my team uh, as well. We talked about you know how well that we were playing so far, and we just kind of went back and forth. He's a great guy. I mean, he's a, oh no, he's a great guy. Dang, you saw everything. Uh, yeah, no, he did. He's he's a he's a great guy, and and I, I have a, all the respect in the world for him. And uh, I've listened to him and in, in, in clinics, and and uh, you know we were friends before the rivalry started. We'll be friends through, and we'll be friends when it's over. I think that the I think anything is possible if you believe and I think anything is possible for our season if the campus community the the community of Las Cruces the team and the support staff and everybody believes I think that the sky's the limit for this team all right, thanks, coach. All right guys